Prepare to endure till Jesus come, if you are still alive when the end times arrive. True followers of Jesus normally have to endure ridicule and opposition. However, things will only get harder as the end of the age approaches. I, John, your brother and partner in the tribulation and the kingdom and the patient endurance that are in Jesus, was on the island called Patmos, on account of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. Jesus revealed through John, I know your works, your toil and your patient endurance, and how you are enduring patiently and bearing up for my name's sake, and you have not grown weary. Because you have kept my word about patient endurance, I will keep you from the hour of trial that is coming on the whole world, to try those who dwell on the earth. I am coming soon, hold fast what you have, so that no one may seize your crown. John foresaw the final days. The beast was given the mouth uttering haughty and blasphemous words, and it was allowed to exercise authority for forty-two months, also it was allowed to make war on the saints and to conquer them. And authority was given it over every tribe and people and language and nation, here is a call for the endurance and faith of the saints. Here is a call for the endurance of the saints, those who keep the commandments of God, and their faith in Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Write this, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Jesus warned, you will be hated by all for my name's sake, but not a hair of your head will perish, by your endurance, you will gain your lives. That day will come upon all who dwell on the face of the whole earth, but stay awake at all times, praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that are going to take place, and to stand before the Son of Man. Therefore, let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God.